React.js is a popular open source JavaScript library used for building user interfaces for web applications developed by Facebook. React allows developers to create reusable UI components and efficiently manage the state of application. Its component-based architecture and virtual DOM provide faster and more efficient rendering, enhancing the overall performance of web applications. React's declarative approach makes it easier to understand and maintain code, making it a go-to choice for developers when building modern, interactive and scalable web applications. React allows developers to build reusable components, making it easier to manage complex UIs. Additionally, React's large community and ecosystem offer numerous libraries and tools for seamless development whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer. React's simplicity and power make it a valuable skill for creating modern web applications. Now, before we move on, I request you guys that do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So here is our agenda for today's session. Firstly, we will see an introduction to React.js, then we will see the features of React.js and then lastly, we will see the installation. So let's start with an introduction to React.js. React.js, which is often referred to simply as React, is an open source JavaScript library used for building user interfaces for web applications. It was developed and is maintained by Facebook and a community of individual developers. React.js has gained immense popularity due to its efficient and flexible approach towards front-end development. The core concept behind React.js is the component-based architecture where UI elements are broken down into reusable and self-contained building blocks called components. Each component encapsulates its own logic, styles and state, thus making it easier to manage and maintain complex UIs. This modularity promotes code reusability, readability and scalability, thus making React applications easier to develop and maintain. One of the key features of React.js is its virtual DOM where DOM stands for Document Object Model. When changes occur in React application, they are first applied to a virtual representation of the DOM, not directly to the actual DOM. This virtual DOM efficiently calculates the minimum number of changes required and then updates the real DOM, thus minimizing costly and potential performance intensive direct manipulations of the actual DOM. This approach enhances the application's performance and responsiveness. React's declarative nature is another crucial aspect, where if I talk about what the UI should look like for a given state and React automatically handles updating the UI when the state changes. This simplifies the development process and reduces the likelihood of bugs caused by manual DOM manipulation. React.js is also highly flexible and works well with other libraries and frameworks, thus making it suitable for both new projects and as an addition to existing code bases. Additionally, React has an extensive ecosystem of third-party libraries and tools that enhance its functionality and provide solutions for various development needs. To summarize, React.js is a powerful JavaScript library that enables developers to build interactive and dynamic user interfaces very efficiently. Its component-based architecture, virtual DOM, declarative approach makes it a popular choice for front-end development, thus empowering the developers to create modern, fast and maintainable web applications. Now we will move forward and discuss some of the features of React.js. React.js comes with a rich set of features that makes it a popular choice for building dynamic and efficient user interfaces for web applications. Some of the key features of React.js include the component-based architecture. If I discuss about component-based architecture, it means that React.js is built around the concept of reusable components. Components are self-contained, isolated units that can be composed together to form the complex UIs. This modularity makes code organization and maintenance quite easier, thus leading to more scalable and maintainable applications. The second is its virtual DOM. React.js uses virtual DOM to efficiently update the actual DOM. When a component state changes, React creates a lightweight copy of the DOM called Virtual DOM and then it calculates the minimal set of changes required to update the actual DOM, thus reducing the unnecessary DOM manipulation and improving the performance. Then comes its declarative syntax. React follows a declarative approach, where developers describe what the UI should look like based on the application state. It abstracts away the manual DOM manipulation 
and focuses on updating the UI based on data changes, thus resulting in more predictable and bug-free code. And also it uses JavaScript XML. React allows developers to write components using JSX, a syntax extension that enables the missing of JavaScript and XML-like code. JSX makes it more intuitive and readable to describe UI components in structure similar to HTML. Then it has one-way data flow. React enforces a unidirectional data flow, meaning data flows from parent components to its child components. This makes it easier to understand how data changes propagate throughout the application and reduces the risk of side effects and data inconsistencies. Then it has rich ecosystem. Also, React has a large and vibrant community that actively contributes to a vast ecosystem of libraries, tools, and extensions. This ecosystem offers solutions for routing, state management, form handling, testing, and more, thus saving development time and effort. Finally, it has mobile app development. React Native, a framework built on the top of React, allows developers to use the same React principles to build native mobile applications for iOS and Android platforms. This enables code reuse between web and mobile projects thus making it an attractive option for cross-platform development. This features, among others, makes ReactJS a powerful and versatile library for building modern web applications with a focus on performance, maintainability, and developer's productivity. Now, we will move on and discuss how to install ReactJS. So guys, installing ReactJS involves a series of steps to set up a development environment for building web applications using this library. So first, what we are going to do, we are going to select what text editor we are going to use. So for using React, I would recommend you to download VS Code. It's an amazing code editor. So let's go on the VS Code. So here from here, you can download it. So it says that download for Windows. It's a stable build. Just click on this and it will get downloaded. Okay, guys. So as you can see, it's starting getting to download. So since I have already downloaded it, so I will not download, okay? So it's an amazing text editor for our, you know, using React.js. Now the next process is what we have to do, we have to install the Node.js. So go on to the official Node.js website. And here you will get 18.70 LTS, okay? It is recommended for most of the users, so you can download it. So after downloading the Node.js, just install it it's a very simple process so as you can see guys i have installed our setup now just click the nest then just accept the agreements okay then choose the place where you want to install it so i have chosen c program files and in a node.js folder our node.js will be installed actually the reason why we are downloading node.js is that react.js requires node.js which is a javascript runtime to work on your machine so from here this website we can download the latest node.js now just click on the next and it says you can select what are the features you want to be installed just click the next okay guys so from here it will automatically install the node.js okay. now just click on install and your node.js will already be installed now since i've already downloaded node.js so i'm going to cancel it okay and I'm going to close this window. Now the next process is that we are going to create a new project. The first step to create a new project is choose a new project directory where you will set up your React.js application. Open a terminal or a command prompt and then navigate to the location where you want to create the project. And then you will run the following command. Okay guys, since I have already installed you know VS Code and this is our kind of directory which I am using it which is, as you can see, users, Krishna, desktop, slash project management. So as you can see, we have created a new folder called demo. And in this, I'm going to create our React app. Now, in order to create our React app, what I'm going to do, we have to type the following command. So I would recommend you to go to the official React docs, where just type create React app. Okay, guys, after typing this, there will be a first official documentation so let's get started and it says npx create react app and then you can give the name of your app 
okay so I'm just gonna copy this and here since I have installed a node which is very required in order to run this command now npx create react app and since I'm not gonna give this so let's name our app as you know installation now just click on this and you will see our react app is going to get installed so as you can see it is creating our react app in C users Krishna desktop project management slash installation okay so we have created another folder okay installation all over here and it is creating it is downloading all the packages which is basically webpack web dev server and all of that and in this packages what we will get react react dom and react scripts with CRA template now let's give it some time in order to get our react app installed okay guys now as you can see we have created our react app name installation okay guys now in installation you will see there are node modules there is a public there is a src folder there is a get ignore there is a package log.json and there is a package.json now let's understand what is the project structure basically we are dealing with so i'll just extend it okay now after the previous step completes a new directory name you know, I can say installation will be created. And in this, you have chosen your project name. So we have chosen here as installation. Now, this project basic structure will be generated for you, including all the necessary files to start building your React.js application. So as you can see, guys, this node module. So in this node module folder contain all the necessary dependencies required for your project which will be automatically installed when you create the react app. Now the next process is we are going to go to our app. Okay. And then we are going to run our application. So it says that CD installation, then NPM start. So let's go to our directory first. So our folder here is installation. So I'm going to type CD. Let me zoom this. As you can see, guys, I'm going to our folder installation, CD installation. Now, what we will do in order to run our development server, we will type npm start. So this is going to run our application, which will be the bare backbone of the react symbol coming up in our, you can say, local host. So after running npm start, we can see our react application is running on local host 3000. Okay, guys. So this is a basic, you know, kind of a thing what we are doing all over here. So this is a basic process of installing react.js. Now we can also change all these things like learn react and edit src app and saves to load. Now guys, the next thing is we can change all these things. Let me show you how we can achieve that. So let us go to our folder and, and after going to app.js. Okay. So in src folder, just navigate to app.js and it says all over here, edit code so in this paragraph suppose we can change something such as you can say welcome and we can say welcome to our react application welcome to our react application so guys you will see the same thing changing all over here so let's navigate to our web browser so as you can see guys it has changed to welcome to our react application. I hope so guys, you would have got the basic idea regarding the project structure and understood what files are there inside this. Thank you guys for watching this video on how to install react.js. I hope so you would have liked our today's video. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers full stack web developer course in collaboration with ENICT Academy IIT Guwahati. Through this course, you can learn everything from front-end web development to back-end web development from esteemed IIT Guwahati faculties and industry experts. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out the testimonials on our Achievers channel whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page link given below in the description and take a first step towards career growth in the field of web development.